Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Rocky Cinema or you can just call me Rockies and today I have a nuclear gameplay for you guys from the Black Ops 3 beta and yes I did manage to pick up this nuclear by myself. It is brought to you guys by me. I am a commentator I know but I am also a pub stomper when I really need to be and I have been absolutely grinding this game. It's, it's so much fun. It's so challenging and it's really really addicting. Now let me tell you guys something funny alright. So this nuclear was actually my first game of the day on today. It is is my first and only game on Black Ops 3 beta today. So what happened is the last two days I've been pretty much grinding Black Ops 3. I've been trying to get a nuclear, I've been trying to get 100 plus and that until like 11, 12 hours straight, right? And of course I had to go to bed. I can't, I'm not a monster. I can't stay up for like 48 hours straight, right? So I went to bed and I woke up and as soon as I woke up I took a shower I ate breakfast and you know I started school today and that's what the commentary topic is gonna be on I started college today so you know after I showered after I ate I had about 45 minutes before I actually had to leave I was like you know what YOLO we could probably fit two or three games in before I have to leave I booted up my PS4 I booted up my Elgato and I kid you not the first game I got on I got this gameplay and I was just like I was in shock I'm like really did I really just spend like 13 hours straight yesterday trying to get this shit and raging and then I go to bed and wake up and on my first game I finally get the nuclear what is life man and I am very proud of myself like I said I'm not a pub stomper by any means I don't go for gameplays at all but this game is just so addicting I've been having so much fun that I really really wanted this nuclear I wanted to be part of that select group that got the nuclear during the beta and I can now say that I am a part of this group of course the gameplay is a little bit slow it is my first nuclear so I did try to play a little bit passive so that I could get it and of course I'm gonna have some more nuclears I have no doubt in my mind now that I got one they're a lot easier that's how it's always been and so my next couple nuclears should be a lot faster for sure they should be you know way more entertaining but none Nonetheless, I did get a nuclear and I am very, very happy with myself. I'm very proud of myself. So it's, we're already two minutes, 30 seconds in. If you guys could drop a like on this video, that'd be much appreciated. I never really mentioned that. If we get at 25 likes, that would be much appreciated, guys. And let's just jump right into the commentary topic. So today, like I said, it was my first day of college and oh my God, the worst day of my life. No joke. It was the longest day I have ever had in my life. So it was a nine hour day, right? I have two days of college orientation today and tomorrow, and they're both nine hours long. Why we have to go through 18 hours of orientation, I have no fucking clue, but it was literally the longest day and I gotta wake up and do it all over again tomorrow. And I am so dreading waking up early and going to another boring ass nine hour day of college. And oh my God, it was so bad. So I am a computer science major, which is engineering intent. So so I have to go to orientation with a whole bunch of people in my major, a whole bunch of people with the same engineering intent. And if you guys don't know, usually engineering students are the really, really smart kids. And so, you know, I went in there, I was expecting to see some hot chicks, right? New place, new college, new students, new girls. I was expecting to see some hot chicks, right? I was wrong. Of course, engineering is for smart kids and, you know, I didn't really think about that. So I walk into this room about 70 people in there. There was three girls in that room of 70 people. It was a fucking sausage fest. And all three of these chicks, they're not, you know, ugly, ugly, but one of them is hot and luckily I got to talk to her like she is the only person in that room I kid you not the only person in that room that I can hold a legit conversation with these kids are the most boring kids that I've ever talked to in my life and if you guys ever watch any movies or anything and you see the you know portrayal of nerds where they have like that nasally voice that's kind of how these kids were and I was just like oh my god this is not happening like I literally have no friends at this college this is a completely new place for me and so you know I'm meeting all new people I was going into this day expecting to make at least a few friends and literally I could not hate these people anymore they are the nerdiest kids I've ever met in my life they are literally Literally the most boring people I have ever talked to in my life. They have nothing interesting to talk about. I can't even hold a conversation with them. And that one chick, the one chick that is actually attractive, is the 
only chick that I can hold a conversation with, so I am very happy about that. She is not boring. She's actually entertaining to talk to. Like, I can actually hold a normal conversation with her. And, you know, I have to go back tomorrow, nine hours. Like I said, I'm really dreading going back there. And, you know, the only upside, literally the only upside is getting to talk to that one chick. That is the only upside because I am dreading it, man. And I officially start school on Monday. I, I cannot wait, man. Like those classes, I'm going to have like two hours a day where I'm actually in class. The other, you know, 22 hours are going to be spent sleeping, working and playing video games. That is my life right now. And I cannot wait. Honestly, like these nine hour days are just they are They are AIDS. I'm not even gonna lie. They are AIDS. They are cancer. They are Ebola, whatever you want to call them. They are that bad. And so I just cannot wait until I actually start. I get to learn stuff that I actually want to learn. And, you know, I'm happy. Honestly, it was a good day. I got to meet new people. And, you know, although they are boring, I did get to meet new people. I got to, you know, talk to some people that I've never got to talk to before. And, you know, really going from a school that I've never, you know, I, of course, I've been in the same school for my whole entire life, pretty much. I've had the same friends for, you know, the last eight years, pretty much. So moving on to new people where I know no one at all where I literally have not talked to any of these people before I really never realized how confident YouTube has actually made me I was the first to introduce myself to pretty much everybody I was the first to ask questions present everything and you know I really I felt really comfortable talking to everybody and I had no problems I didn't stutter at all I was very confident speaking I was very loud and outgoing and I honestly think I have YouTube to thank for that I I honestly do like I was really confident meeting new people and a lot of people seem to like me because I was very confident and of course that's a good trait to have is confidence and I think I owe that all pretty much to commentating on YouTube because it's really changed me for the better and I can't wait to see where I go in the next four years of college I'm very excited to see what ha what has uh, been lined up for me in the future Thank you guys for watching. Insane gameplay for you guys. I will have more nuclear soon and they will be shorter. If you made it to the end of this seven minute commentary, I've been commentating for seven minutes. Oh my God. If you made it to the end of this video, comment hashtag Rockies nuclear and I'll know you made it to the end of this video and I will thank you personally in the comments because you guys are gods. Thank you guys for watching. I'm out for the day. Peace.